Welcome to The Mischief. I'm Balin. I'm Kashka. And we're here today with The Zone and Callisto. Hello. Hello. Another episode of Serious Engineering, where The Zone has found massive amounts of shortcuts in one tiny microchip. Looking mm -hmm. doodad, doohickey. It's the Industrial Interval Signal Timer. It rolls right off the tongue. Do you yeah, want to just pick it up thing. and plonk it down behind this thing? Oh, yeah, sure. I can't believe you guys didn't know about that thing. <laughs> hi, Knights. Hi, Rowan. <laughs> Aluka. Argamemnon. Ar Argamemnon. Misfit. Sirius Creeper. The mod author. Didi Keeps. And Rowan. Hi, everybody. So, this little sucker here apparently... I'm I'm gonna click on one of the blue buttons. There you go. I just I just moved it up. So you you see the little thing that pops up on the screen. Seventeen seconds on. It's off for a quarter second, and the power fifteen. And each one of these little things changes those settings. It is absolutely fabulous. And the zone. Yeah, I love the little buttons. Zone found it. It's from cages and switches, which that's awesome. I mean, talk about really good high tech stuff. Wow, this yep. is making some good pressure. We need a safety gauge. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot we need to turn this off. Um, Woo! Okay, I just turned off this switch. <laughs> so was is there just an off switch on this thing? Uh, yeah, so like um, where that little yellow, or it's not yellow button. Oh, it's yellowish, but you see it turn on? Yeah, the green light. It turns green. Okay. And then you turn it off, and then it's no longer. Okay, cool. Solitary bird, hello. I am so jealous of your... Baby chooks. <laughs> oh my gosh. Solitary Burb shared on our Discord um, a picture of uh, freshly hatched chicks. And they're adorable. They're just so cute. <laughs> it, it actually wasn't a picture, it was a GIF or a little a movie. A little movie. Yep. It was pretty damn cute. Oh a mini gosh. movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're just doing the thing, you know. Um, oh, well, it already got 0. 0.47 bar from. Yeah, it, it wow. actually. Yeah, it was pretty. It was going up pretty quick, so that. <laughs> this is working so success. much better. We need to make another fire starter. <laughs> yes, we do. And another. Um, oh, we could probably just use the same industrial interval signal timer. Remember that, folks. Industrial interval signal timer. Right Honestly, on. I just searched timer inside <laughs> the thing, and uh, um, <laughs> you know, yeah. You're gonna share a photo of them when they fall asleep tonight. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh I, I am looking forward to this oh my gosh yeah <laughs> little baby chicks fall asleep oh my gosh <laughs> um, so I can make another fire starter um, what were we, now that we've got like if this thing is to do that oh wait um, it was the pressure that we were talking about yeah we need to have something to automatically stop making pressure <laughs> oh yeah i remember that <laughs> uh, oh does this thing accept redstone signals i guess oh, is the next wow. question your your timer to shut it off hmm it's a safety tube module Internet is bad. No, doing, doing all, right. all right. New job, so you can finally show up to the streams. Congrats, oh, Congrats man. on the new job. That's a rare thing in the That's current awesome. days. Nice work. Well, well done. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Congrats. Um, wait, Steam, Steam, Steam. Hey. You just okay, Rowan? It is the weekend. Hopefully, yep. uh, mm -hmm. that's gonna help. Maybe, possibly, maybe. Oh, we also have some new quests that we have yet to actually explore. Socket pollution. Resetting the cache. Fix the chat. Oh. That's like oh. number one tip that our IT support guys. Resetting did you cache. Reset your, did you fix your cache? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can turn the thermal generator off on by applying redstone. Therm you mean the thermal compressor? 
on off by applying a redstone signal to the block below it. Oh, that's interesting. What am I doing? So I'm... if I do, to do that. this and I do cool. one second zone, I'm going to do an experiment. There we go. So this is on. Okay. I can't see anything because the chat's in the way there. Let's move that. The temperature is rapidly increasing. Turn that yeah, off. Rob. Temperature is rapidly increasing. <laughs> what is it? Is the basement more about to explode? <laughs> it it is creating more pressure, but it, it might be. Maybe left. it has to be directly under it as opposed to. Oh, the temperature is like really going. Okay, I'm gonna. Turn that off for a second. <laughs> Maybe I need to have the, the redstone lever directly underneath. Let's try that. All right. Actually, does it need to be like actually on it? <laughs> oh, it's not actually enabled to react to a redstone signal. Um, so I put high signal on. Gotcha. Um, okay. All right. Start it up. Started. Okay. All right. Temperature increasing. Click button. Temperature dropping. Yep. Okay. All right. Good to know. So we could just have some redstone signals coming from whether it be this little pressure gauge or the safety. We could have a safety valve on there too. Okay. Yep. Temperature's going up quick. <laughs> redstone icon. Good call. Thanks, Keebs. Much appreciations. Um, actually, do you have any more redstone zone? I do. Actually, uh, here you go. Oh, thank you. That works. I was going to just have a little bit going under here already. And, well, I just had a little bit of lag there. What if, what if it's on the side? Does that make a difference? I would actually consume the fire. I didn't notice that. Oh, it doesn't make a difference. Um, yeah, that's why. Yeah. That's okay, why. so I have to figure out how long that actually is because it was waiting for a few seconds where it didn't have it. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna. Whoops. I'm gonna back <laughs> it down a little bit. Um, you might need to turn the flames off too, as the temperature can get very high. <laughs> it is going up pretty good. All right, really so pertinent. if we use, do you have those repeaters? I do. I think, yeah, I do. Because I think, thank you. Mm -hmm. Welcome back, knights. I'm not really sure if it will work like this, but I'm going to try. Uh, let's just try something simple like that. Temperature's still going up. Alright, so that's not working. <laughs> oh, it could be the um, the signal strength. Like there's a enable on high signal and there's also low signal. I just turned it to low signal. Oh, okay. Oh, mine's starting to back up. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, it's still on. Alright. Temperature's going up. Turn that on. Temperature is still going up. All right. So, as I was thinking, it's actually sending a signal to the to the fire block. The uh, redstone signal isn't actually going up, which is fine because I can fix that with, I think, some redstone levers, not levers. <laughs> redstone. Torches. Oh, got it. So, um, he says that the temperature will continue to go up. It's the um uh oh the pressure the, was... it won't create more pressure okay so and you can actually look at the green check mark it looks like uh if it's disabled uh the pressure's still going up and it's getting pretty close to exploding at this point uh just mind the pipe <laughs> so at the top real quick are, uh... <laughs> pressure pressure's still going up and i've got light signal going to it so yeah it's still um i don't know I also don't really know 
the difference between light and uh, high. Um, there we go. Oh, yeah, never mind. I turned it to high. <laughs> um, it's still holding. The other one's losing pressure, though. That's... Oh! Because you attached a pipe to it. Eh. No, it's, it's good. Actually, look at it uh, before you do that. Oh, there or not. There. They should equalize so now. Look at it. Right. Uh, and you see the yellow uh, exclamation point on the right? Yeah. Yeah. So, like... Oh, never mind. Now it's the spore temperature differential. Um, now that we turned this off. But, like... <laughs> um, when I did that, it said, it, like, if I when I changed it to high signal, I looked over there, it said requires a redstone signal. Though it still shows it on mine, but it doesn't show it on yours for some reason. Hmm. Huh. Able on high signal. Hmm. Oh, raiders. Uh-oh. Who's on the southeast side of town? I'm in the nether, so... I'll take care of it. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, God. I'm being shot at in the nether. That's not good, Kashka. So, I wonder if we have just... blocks like this. We've got repeaters going into the wall. And then uh, redstone and a lever just to demonstrate signal. Yeah, all right. That's sending a redstone signal to the block under the um, the compressor. But I don't know if the compressor itself needs the redstone signal or not. Okay, so it is now no longer saying it requires a redstone signal. So I feel like it does have it. So I'm going to turn on the temperature stuff and see if the pressure goes up. Whoa, I just got an SMG. Okay, do it. Wait, did you just change it to enable always? No, I just looked at it. Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Good evening, Kazam. All right, there's no problems. Uh, the air is going up. Temperature is dropping. But that's because the fire went out. Oh, okay. Um, no, it's the... Um, it's the air that you need to look at. If like yep. when you turn that switch off, the air should stop. Which it's not. Okay. So that Did it is not. It so it's not the block itself underneath it. It needs a redstone signal fed up under it. Okay. No, it does have a redstone signal, but it's going. Oh. Like it's enable when there's a redstone signal. It's when it's off that it shouldn't work. Like okay. can you turn it off? Can you turn those things off? Yeah. So in theory, now it should stop generating pressure. It and did. It, it currently has no pressure. Okay. Okay. No gotcha. All right. Enable on high signal. Okay. That's weird. Enable on a high signal. Yeah, that's actually what how thermal expansion also has it. I thought it was. Um, so it seems to be. Oh, okay. I see. It enable the shut off on a high signal. Okay. Hey, nicely done, Callisto. Thank you. But you know... They'll be back. <laughs> yeah, right now the warning says, you know, redstone... Uh, disallows this machine um, to function. God. Well, it says redstone disallows. What? But it's allowing it to function currently. No, That's weird. No, that that's, that's right. Because right now there's... No redstone to it, so it works. Right? No, it's not. Oh. <laughs> okay. Right? Yeah. I mean, look at it. Like, you're it's right. not generating air. When you t we literally just tested this. If you turn it on... No, no, you're right. It's going to start generating air. I, I'm inverting it because it's inverted. It's weird. <laughs> no, the wording is wrong. Yeah. Is, is, is what I'm gathering. Because yeah. actually, like, it said something earlier. It says requires a redstone <laughs> signal to function. Like, and I don't know how, how, I don't get it. Anyway. Me either, but we know it works. Yep. So. So we can actually start putting this pressure back into powering the uh, refinery again. <laughs> um, I'd like to think that. 
<laughs> no, you don't think so? No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Just messing around. Um, so, uh, I'm gonna cut ah. off these two pieces I just what dropped. Oh no! I just got zapped. You just got hit by a bat. In magic. With magic, there was a magic bat. <laughs> Explosive magic bat. Uh, can I mine this? Should I sleep? Yeah. I'm sleeping. Oh, thanks. Uh, I want to go down one more. Uh oh, I, I, am I hearing the soft pitter patter of the puggy footprints? Yep, she has arrived. She's had a busy day. She has. A very busy day. <laughs> Rip Kashka. Rip me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so we took her on a walk. And she met some cows. Oh, that's right. Aww. I forgot to share with you guys. We had some cows come up to the fence. They were super friendly. Oh, they were so nice. <laughs> so, uh, so Fallon <laughs> was like, here, I'm going to take Zoe over to say hello. So we picked Zoe up, you know, and uh, took her over. They were at the gate of this field, you know, took her over. It was just a sniff fest. Yep. <laughs> it was. There, Zoe, Zoe's nose and the cow's nose were like millimeters apart. They were sniffing each other. The cow's lips parted and the tongue starts coming out. I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> You're about to get licked, Zoe. <laughs> Zoe was so good about it. I was really impressed. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. we, uh, I don't know. This is how dorky we are. We call... <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, anyway, we're pretty dorky. I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, it was it was pretty cute. I so I didn't we didn't get a I didn't get a pic of Zoe, you know, almost getting kissed by a cow, but but I did get a pic of the cow's nose. So, mm -hmm. I'll post that one. <laughs> yeah, they're they're uh, grass or field puppers, right? Yeah, field puppers. That's what we call them. <laughs> so, this module emits a red, so we somehow... I wasn't going to admit to that. That's the dorky thing that I was trying to avoid saying, but, you know. <laughs> a field puffer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chat. I'm going to say I need help. Uh, because Ravan made... Uh, he, he was being very polite and very, very complimentary and said, Valen, learn redstone. It was not very effective. Um, <laughs> because <laughs> I, I learned a tiny bit. Um, this is a different monster altogether. The, the, the pressure gauge, when I place it on here, will generate a redstone signal based on the pressure, I believe. It says the module emits a redstone signal, the strength of which depends on the tube's pressure. Actually, the zone, you, you probably have a better idea on this, but this pressure gauge, what? it emits a redstone signal, the strength of which depends on the tube's pressure that it's on. When, okay. Uh, and so... There's a formula to it. The redstone oh signal that it gives is two times the pressure bar value. So you have to figure out a way to how far, like, because isn't power the same as, like, distance? Like, how far the, the yes. signal will actually go? Yes. Each block is one power uh, loss. Okay. So <laughs> if we wanted to be five, then it had to be ten blocks away. Uh, if like five bar be the pressure, like it's module emits a redstone signal, the strength of which depends on the tube's pressure. So, if we don't want it to go above five, then I think I think you're correct. I think it needs to be ten blocks away. So let's. Uh, and I think uh, uh, <laughs> DD Cubes made a, a good point that we probably want to do it less less than five. Six. You know, so that if there's a little bit of delay. And things in things shutting off, then we want to uh, kill it sooner. Fair enough. So we just need to have nine redstone blocks away. It doesn't have to be nine away on the pipe. So right. Um, so in here we could dig like a tunnel for it. Oh, that's the back. That's behind it or something. Oh, that's probably a really good idea. It's just something go back here maybe I'll be back <laughs> <laughs> actually this is a really good idea because it's just 
a straight line and then we can adjust it down as we need to. I don't know why I'm just digging a straight line. That's really silly. I needed to come back and give a redstone signal to this off the pipe. So I need to do like a U shape. Right? Does that even make sense? So what does the pressure tube or the safety tube module do? So uh, it's like a release rest... valve. So when the pressure gets so high for whatever you tell it, it just re starts releasing air above anything above the amount that you tell it. So if we okay. have it coming, uh, like sending the signal when it gets to five bar, anything at five bar and above, it's just going to open and make sure it doesn't go above five bars. Can't we keep it on at all times then? Yes. I mean, that's the idea is that we could just have it so that if it ever gets to five bar, that's as high as it gets. <laughs> right. We don't even need anything telling, giving it a signal though, other than like a switch. Or, well, uh, sorry. I guess the switch oh, no, no. It, if you just turn if you give it a redstone signal, it, it opens. How's that? Sorry. Right. This little uh, safety tube module down here. And the pressure gauge can specify a signal per bar, I guess, you know. So if you combine them together, then you can get a redstone signal that is generated when a certain bar is met. Because if you just flick the lever on there, it's the same as like cutting the pipe. It's just going to Oh, let, okay. I thought, it's well, why does it have a, like, if I look at it, it has like a, a max pressure on it already. Um, as well as a threshold of 7.5 bar. Oh, the safety tube module probably needs to take into it. Safety tube module, hold on. <laughs> it says, and th thank you, Vengeful full Coder, for the follow. Uh, the module will release high pressure air when the given threshold is reached. Although it prevents explosions, released air counts as energy loss. Um, and then it, it has a formula. The threshold in bar amounts equals 7.5 minus redstone divided by 2. Uh, so the redstone value, yeah. let's say 15 that it's getting, right? Uh, so it would be then 7.5 minus uh, 7.5 would equal 0. <laughs> wait what that's really weird it's funky we'll we'll mess around with it how's that <laughs> we'll see what works because sometimes that's quicker than trying to do maths <laughs> especially in an environment where you're not really worried about dying one two three four five oh, six, you guys seven, are giving eight, me nine. shit about this <laughs> in the attic and blah 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 and here you are like oh we'll just blow up the basement it'll be fine <laughs> oh we've already technically blown up uh, already so i think we're good uh we already know what happened mm -hmm. it'll be fine yeah it's fine <laughs> uh so... I don't know that someone can Photoshop Zoe in series because this picture is like the cow's nose, like up close and personal. <laughs> Zoe's like getting eaten by the cow. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on here. We're gonna see what happens, I guess. Wait, you can actually create a vacuum with this? <laughs> Sounds, like, Sounds a like a challenge. <laughs> I mean, I'll post it later and you'll <laughs> you'll see. There's like no room for Zoe, basically. What, what do you think, Zoe? Shall we um? Shall we connect up some of this so system here? We need to turn on the. Um, maybe, you could, maybe you could Photoshop so we like. Up and this the stuff feels like it's connected wrong. Probably. Like, why is the generator connected to this valve too? I was hoping that the redstone signal would pass through. I'm not yeah, sure if it will. Let's find exactly. out. Exactly. Wait, but is the, no, the, it doesn't. Okay. The, but also, like, that's meant to turn it off. Turning this thing turns it on. Oh, you're right. That's why I'm confused. Yeah, we just need to have something here to turn it on and off with. Yes. Sorry. I think that's accurate. <laughs> the safety valve is doing all the other work for it. Yes. Hopefully. We, we hope. Which actually, if we look at it, it should tell us. Uh, max pressure, five bars. Nice. Oh, okay. So, but wait, it says threshold seven and a half. 
Doggone it. So, no, I did not set it right. Unless. What if I turn. But it's this? not getting a signal. Like. Still says threshold seven and a half. Oh, it's because I've got this in the wrong spot. Threshold 0.5 bar. Okay. All right. All right. So it is. It, it works. Let me take this off and put the lever here to simulate threshold four bar. All right, so I need to make it go further then, I think. Would you agree? Yeah, just one more. Uh, I can do two more. Two more would be five exactly. That's kind of scary. <laughs> it's, it's, it's redlining it. It's fine. It's fine. Nothing could go wrong. I'm not mean, sure about that. When you lose all your materials. No, I'm not sure about there's that. There's no crying in Minecraft. Okay? <laughs> no crying in Minecraft. Um, I'm trying to think how I could make this go an odd amount. Um, I've got it. All right. Uh, I need a little bit of pipe. You got any pipe? Oh, perfect. One, two, three. There we go. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> and then... It should, if I can actually get in there, there we go. If I put the valve or this thing here. Stop it, Gast. Leave me alone. There instead. Can't rotate this thing, so it'll just have to do there. Uh, those, you know, remember those salamanders with work. the giant turrets on their back? Yeah. Are they aggressive or passive? They're aggressive. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I go a different way. <laughs> All right, how's that looking? That's that's messed up because this is in the way. Ah, got it. You can't have something right next to it. Okay, so it has to go in a circle above it. But how's that looking? That's probably they have a good. don't have a very big aggro range, so. No, they don't. Oh, Fresh hold the four point five bar. How's that? Perfect. Okay, then I can reproduce that by having this go up and I need one more pipe how did oh, I, okay how did I what I thought I had that's weird all right well either way then we can put the pressure here that should generate the redstone signal hopefully and it gives us that extra like half a bar to panic and break pipes if we need to <laughs> okay ready to do this Sure. Uh, uh, hold on. I'm going. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, I'm going to. I'm going to break this so that none of it is connected to any of the uh, compressors because the air compressors hey, may end up blowing up. In, okay. Well, if things are not set right. Ready then. Ready. Throw the lever. Has... Lever is thrown. Air is being generated. Bars are being increased. I see this. I'm watching the, the, the pressure increase. It's a very slow process, actually. Oh, I guess we only have one of these things generating. Wrong lever zone. <laughs> <laughs> Pull the lever, crank. Oh. Why don't you set it up to set the flip the switch for you? Because we want manual on off. <laughs> I think, honestly, if we have the safety valve, we can leave it always on. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I mean, it will mean that there's, like it said, power loss, I guess. But I really don't know what that means at this point. Uh, it means that if... Uh, it means nothing, because we have an infinite power source at the, at the moment. Just fire and a heat sink that doesn't degrade as far as I can. Ow, ow, these fluffing cacti. For a minute, I'm like, you're in the desert now? But then I realized that the nether has cactus. <laughs> Okashka would mind if we blow up her house. That's what she wants to do. <laughs> <laughs> Only parts of it, though. The small parts. Mm-hmm. Oh, stop it, cacti. God damn it, these uh, little so bastards. Let's see. This is what? What is this thing? A fire starter. They're going to kill me. They're going to be the end of me. Please no. Jeez, I'm hearing the the creepy, the what is it, uh, soul sandy stuff you have out. 
side making really weird noises again. <laughs> hey Zone, do you mind if I make another fire starter while we're uh uh no I would be very happy with that. Because <laughs> I'm like, mm, this is that kind of... I just killed that pig man. <laughs> yeah I kind of actually want to get like um uh um a third one going actually. Um I don't because we have an air compressor I think that we are going to convert into a thermal compressor. That sounds good. You want to do that, and I'll uh, I'll see about making two more fire starters. Sure. Why am I out here? Everything is in the house. What the heck? <laughs> Almost everything's in the house. Hi, Jelly. Hi, Siren. I think I missed saying hi to you two today. I'm doing. Oh no. <laughs> Doesn't sound very positive. Throw those in there. Keep the pipe. Uh, what do I need for this thing? Nether rack. Uh, actual nether rack, though. There we go. One, two, three, four. Two flint and steels. Oh, crap. There. And iron ingots. Hoi. Two. Made. And then this. Four cobblestone. Eight cobblestone. Two redstone. Got that. Kind of a meh day, but you're making something new for dinner. Okay. That sounds kind of good. You should blow up the house to cheer Sirius up. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you know, I didn't even have to look to know who said that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. It's the nope. same person every stream. You should blow stuff up. You should kill people. You should stab Valen. <laughs> I mean, if it blows up the house. Ow, ow. You're a little predictable. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Oh, stop it. <laughs> Not that shit. it's a bad thing. Shit, 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 shit. Kashka, no. Yep. No, Kashka. Oh, okay. oh, you hit a pig man? No, it's oh, the it's pig man with guns. Oh, <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> Those are especially rude. Is it regular? <sighs> it is okay. Take that cobble. Okay. Redstone. I need some wood. They are quite rude. Yeah. Yeah. I could just use some of this. And... and apparently they never need to reload either, which I think is completely unfair. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Um, and so some this stuff. There's no room in the in the in this. Oh wait, maybe there is. I'm terrible. Oh, there's a chest. Oh, that's because that's not a piston. Oh, it's the iron ingots. Okay. <laughs> All right, two pistons. And they're big cheaters. What? I Cheat? said they're big cheaters. Oh, <laughs> it's got Just infinite bullets. No reload. I call bullshit. <laughs> evil, evil critters. Just had a, a gyros with truly excellent fries. What? Ooh, gyros. Are Three turkey and rice skillet. I omitted the kalamata olives due to salt content. Mm -hmm. Nice. Seven olives are... No, they're not oh, serious. They're not nasty. They oh. are salty little bastards sometimes. You have lost brownie points. <laughs> and, uh, they're great in, in some beverages. <laughs> Duh. Duh, got it. I hate that glitch when you... No need to be salty. <laughs> <laughs> when you go to pick up, or like when you scroll it and it just pops some off your mouth. I already have. I, I do mixed. like olives in some things. I like olives in me. <laughs> <laughs> in the belly. Yes. Let's make two of okay. those. I have one boatload of. 
Oh, nether crystal doodads now. One boatload of what? Nether crystal do or nether quartz slivers. Oh, good. This this makes me very happy. <laughs> All right, zone. I'm coming down with fire starters. Are they twisted? <laughs> what is this in reference to? I still don't oh. know. <laughs> oh, seriously? Uh, yep. A prodigy. The band. Oh. Hang on one second. Okay. A song Oops. called Firestarter. In yeah, which yeah, they yeah. repeatedly say, I'm a fire star. Fire starter. Twisted, Twisted. fire star. Mm -hmm. gotcha. Okay. I mean, it is just, you know, pretty much again and again and again and again. Gotcha. Sorry. My musical prowess has been uh, not the best. <laughs> uh, we're going to need. Didn't that guy, um, the lead singer, passed away like not too long ago? I think, I think that's accurate. Why is that not working? Because uh, the redstone signals are going straight. They're not connecting uh, on the oh. side. So what you need... Think about it this way. If we'd ever share a dish with olives, there'd be more for you. <laughs> <laughs> this and this and then a little bit of redstone. All right, a very little... long time later, I have the two alchemical brass that I needed. Uh... Whoa. Uh, oh, actually, that's perfect there, and then there. Oops. That's Almost. A, that's a... There. That's so weird. It is weird. Yeah, there's another way we could do this no, <laughs> that, that would no, require no, very no, little amount of redstone. Now that I think about it. That has not happened. Let's I just... think that Balan's going to blow up the basement before I get a chance to... <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Too many about? Eldritch Murderous Bagudas. Oh, it, it doesn't connect. Or I was, was only... going to do... I was going to make plates. Does it only connect a certain direction? It's in standby mode when you put it down. Oh, okay. Well, then there we go. We just need to reset the, the timer sequence on it, right? So, more... More seconds... What uh, setting did you have it at before? 10? I think 10 is good. Okay. And then... Whoops, not up for the other uh, off timer. And then off timer for a very short amount. So Power you max. should read what um, Ruby Wolfire said, because maybe that's important. Ruby Wolfire. You made mistakes. The pressure gauge only emits redstone signal from its display face, and it emits two redstone per bar meaning that the small pipe has a max redstone signal of 10. Uh, we're going to blow. Um, I'm turning things off. It's not emitting a redstone signal at all. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that was a good choice. It does say it's emitting a redstone signal. <laughs> uh, oh, you broke it? Okay. No, I didn't. But it's not letting anything out anyway. It needs to be broken here. Because it wasn't releasing from any of the chambers. <laughs> there we go. Oh, right. <laughs> so we yeah. didn't uh, set up the third um, pressure guy with redstone stuff. No. Uh, um, was it enable on always? That means it'll just always be on. That's bad. Uh, without, I think we we're trying not to do that. High signal. All right, they're both on high signal now. Okay, and I think that that was it, right? Uh, well, we need to actually hook up redstone to it. Uh, so we need Whoa. another one of the redstone repeaters. Or um, it's like no redstone left. I might be able to do this. Actually, that should work. M yeah, maybe. there wasn't. There's was only like four blocks in there. Uh, I think. I think you're. I think I'm I will coming. need a, a repeater. Uh, it's all right. I've got. Are. I broke down one of the blocks. So, is everything oh, okay? Thank you. Yep. Okay. They have some redstone behind the safety gauge. Oh yeah, is that that's free for picking up? <laughs> <laughs> Let me go get the. <laughs> no, <laughs> I need to get oh. some blocks. I'm trying to run out to the old inventory again. Oh my gosh. Oh, I definitely just I'm just doing nothing. Oh god. Oh. I put them in the wrong place. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I can Whole move thing. that. I can move that, actually, if that's I easy. didn't see the ladder there. No worries. It was... It was being sneaky. What's going on? Nothing. 
Mm-hmm. I'm ruining Kashka's house. <laughs> what? <a fun>. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just being sneaky with ladders. Snakes and ladders. Sneaky ladders. <laughs> All right, there. So we've got redstone, redstone, and uh, enabled on high signals. I don't think this thing's connected, by the way. Which thing? Oh, this. This thing. Okay. Because it's emitting a redstone signal, but it's not being picked up by this redstone right here. Power of four. Oh, you're right. Gosh, could be like when I, back when I was in college. I, used I think to you might need to put it on this end. Room to get to my... <laughs> I was like, it's oh, it's no big deal. It only, like... Yeah, you're right. <laughs> if you want to leave it there, I don't mind. Let me. Okay, I need to plunk this down. There we go. Like I that. Ah. Down, it. <laughs> Thank you, Ruby. <laughs> so that should work much better now. Less explosiveness, more efficiency. Shall I turn this oh, thing on? Told her. Oh wow! You just click anywhere on the face, and it actually it starts it. Yep. You want to start it up? Uh, sure. Is that all three are burning? They are. Nice. Cool. I mean. Cool. That's hot. hot. Kaboom. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Big bada boom. Big bada boom. In theory, over time, we should see the red zone signal just kind of. That's weird. Get bigger and bigger. Only two of the three lit. Oh, it might be that uh, the consumed one of them. That was quick. Well, I guess that's why I've got three of these, right? Oh, see. Oh, wait a second. Nope. You're right. It lit on the first try. Maybe I just need to make another repeater <laughs> instead of using that thing right behind it. Because it works when you turn it on, but then I don't think it works after that. I want to go crazy with redstone. There's a mod called Automated Redstone in this that lets you create some compl complex stuff. Hmm. That's weird. It's working now. Nope. Yeah, once it gets consumed, it like won't restart it. Increase the off time or use another repeater. <laughs> I think I'm going to grab another repeater. Because it seems to just be on that one that doesn't have one for some reason. Take... I increase the off time by 0.25 seconds as okay. well to see what that does. OK. I am going to go and get some cobble cooked up real quick. The bees. I was humming. Go into the chapel and for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea where that. <laughs> like, isn't that weird? Songs just randomly pop into your head. It just popped in. I guess you just go into the chapel, right? Go. My heart will go on. <laughs> I don't know about Celine Dion. I'm just saying. See, she is the greatest singer in the world. <laughs> I've got chalk dust. Blech. Get that out of there. Sticks. And I've got some redstone. I've got enough to make a repeater. So let's make another one. It's like my favorite redstone device that I use the most. As a repeater. <laughs> its logic is probably a little simpler. Alright, break this. Redstone there. This here. And then increase uh, to eight seconds. And then reduce to half a second. And then, no, quarter second. Power 15. Go. Okay. Now I need to do some theory some? stuff. Some what? I can't remember what kind of theory stuff I need. What kind of theory stuff? Alchemy theory. Alchemy theory. 
That reminds me, there was something that I wanted to look at in here real quick. It was none of those. It was, where is it? I swear it was in here. Huh. Oh, there, there it is. Oh yeah, arcane paving stones. Paving stone of travel allows you to run along these very quickly. So we could use this as a sidewalk running through the middle of the, the village so that we can get it's from one side blow. to the other. Uh, oh, that got it. <laughs> the redstone signal's not traveling far enough. Oh, yeah? It got to here. What did the bar get up to? Was it four and a half? 4.9. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. So maybe yeah, we... that's why I said it's going to blow. So, do you have um, more pipe? So Ruby will fire says, remember that the small pipes can only give a redstone signal of 10. When you tested the safety valve, you used a lever with a redstone signal of 15. Small pipes can only give 10? Where that's, does it say that? That's what also said in their previous comment, right? Oh. But where, where does it say that? Not in the comment. Where does it say that in the mod is what I'd like to know. Because I'd like to know where I missed it. Is that really true, or do you just want to know that you didn't miss it? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Got any more pipes zone? Oh, because the pressure gate two module does five times uh, the pressure, or sorry, two times the pressure. Um, so it should have been emitting nine, which means two, three, four, uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Shoot! Yep, I am one short or one too long. <laughs> Okay, so we just miscounted. That's fine. That's not a big deal, right? Sure. Um, I actually, wonder, actually, if we don't need to do this loop and, like, putting the gauge at the end of it will close off the pipe. Huh? Hey? So we oh, have this loop going. Oh, I see what you're saying. Because, yeah. because we don't... Yeah. See? Yep. Okay, cool. Oops, I picked it up. Uh, okay. um, no, 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 not that far. Oh, yeah. I think that's a little too far. Oh, shoot. I no, broke no, it again. No, 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 just one more. Oh, you're right. Okay. No, I'm, do I'm doing it. He's got it. Look at that. It just, it's a plug. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Okie dokie. You want to give it a go, and I'll just watch the gauge and... <laughs> we'll see if it goes past 4.5 wow going again more repeaters that's a good call <laughs> I'll go make some more repeaters Okay. It's getting up there. It's a it's a three point two. It's going a, a bit slow, but it's still getting there. I mean, based on what we've seen previously, this is actually kind of fat. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, <laughs> so far it's like you're just like. By the way, it's gonna blow. What? We just turned it on. <laughs> We're at three and a half. Ember's palette would look great in between these. Mmm. <clears throat> Alright, we're almost at four. Slowing down. Well, those heat things are, are doing... They're like changing colors they keep on going red and then they go gray yeah see that one's going a little bit red yep yeah it's because it's uh actually like dissipating the heat i feel like we need little fans back there now right <laughs> i'm thinking about combining a tfc pack with the between land stuff never ending cycle 4.5 <laughs> we are over 4.5 
All right, I can't tell if the safety valve is doing anything. It's shoved you, into the ground. You would no, you would see it. It would actually start emitting stuff. So, applied redstone is one. Uh, I'm going to break. Okay, this. I'm gonna turn things off. It's not stopping at the other end because I broke it at the wrong spot. Thank you. <laughs> Why do you like suffering? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it was getting applied threshold redstone zero threshold 7.5. It was getting a, a redstone of one. Oh, so it's like a, hey, it's like a, is it like a remainder? So like, um, if, uh, if it's giving a redstone signal of nine, it gets one. But if it's giving a redstone signal of, uh, sorry, the distance and the redstone signal are the same. So it gets a redstone signal of one. But what if it's a shorter distance? Does it like get a remainder? Um, Threshold seven. It's still only a redstone, applied redstone of one. But does that make sense for like what it's actually giving off? It's emitting a redstone of five. So that it's emitting, it's difference. right now it's at uh, 2.95 bar. Emitting redstone five. Yep, emitting five. Which is exactly how much it has to get to this thing. Threshold is seven. So do we need to have this even closer? Yeah, I think actually well let's see what happens when we um uh <laughs> safety tube should have a Yeah, see that's what I was talking about earlier. What you want it to allow for events. Ah, uh, damn it, I can hear it. Just turn it on. Turn what on? The, uh, like, give the safety mod module a constant redstone zone. It's got like, one. Don't right. bother. What? It's got one right now, which will only increase as we increase. I the know. Pressure. I'm just saying we can simplify it. Okay. If we wanted to, like, we could put a switch, always give it a redstone signal so it'll always, like, release pressure at a certain temperature. Or pressure. Try it. I was hearing one of those, um, oh, what are they called? The sparky guys. Little sparks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those those are some of the most evil critters. Those yeah, are the fire sure. bats. Because their hitboxes are, like, <laughs> minuscule. And they always fly around and they zap you with lightning and stuff. Alright, so, what do you want to try next? <laughs> You were saying to, to just give it a, a permanent redstone signal. Yeah, effectively. Is that what the, is this? This is off currently. Yeah, I just said it. Why don't down. you disconnect the other one real quick? Done. Okay, so the threshold zero because it got fifteen. If we move the switch away further, it'll get a lower redstone signal. So then. Oops, I'm just like throwing stuff everywhere. So maybe, yeah. Threshold is seven and a half. I'll flick the lever. Threshold is three bars. So put it one closer. It's two and a half. All right, so we want it to be a little further away. For it to be fine. All right, I'm gonna uh, do the loop again. I'm gonna. Nope. Oh crap! I only have one pipe. <laughs> <laughs> you wish... <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Oops. There's another pipe for you. You got it. So then, each one is a half a bar. That's three. And a half, four, and a half. <laughs> so I need to have the lever right where that pipe is. Like that, right? Four and a half bar. Feasibly, I could like put it in the wall or something silly like that. Yeah. Hmm. You use a comparator, you can send it one extra block without changing the string. 
Don't tempt this me. Is... <laughs> okay, so it is saying 4.5 bar. Mm hmm. Applied redstone. Applied redstone of six. Yep. So when the we. Distance is, so which is nine minus, or 15 minus nine. Yep. Got it. Okay. I'm going to turn on the stuff now. The uh, generators or compressors. <laughs> You're right, crazy skunk. I could. That that's that's too smart for the likes of me. <laughs> Let's put this uh, this back. I could put one up here, like that, if we wanted it to be five. But right now we're testing at four and a half, so things don't get blown up. <laughs> Actually, if each one is a half a bar, one, two. Three. That would be three. So if I put a lever right there. Actually, it's getting there fast enough. Actually, no, it's not. Let's do this. That's three bars? Two and a half. So it is currently letting things out. It should stop? Yep, it is. All right. So what if I move this? one further away then it should start at three bars over so it's above the red zone you already got him at yeah it's oscillating now because your compressors are running but yeah definitely working yeah there we go so it, it actually starts just before nice well yeah it starts at like um right after it goes over and lets and it lets out a little bit of pressure like to go below yeah so do you want to keep it at four and a half or five i feel safer with four and a half but that's we fine. might actually need the five i don't know yeah i guess fine. we'll find out if we need more if we need more pressure we can change. yeah that would do that that should do Oh, what I could do is uh, this and this and a piece of redstone. That puts it at, that's at five. And that's at four, or four and a half. So there you go. Right now, the lever that's closer to me is four and a half bar. The lever that's further away is five bars. Okay, what? So, oh, I get it. We can switch it if we need it. Yep. You guys nearly had it set up so that it would turn itself off right before you stopped. <laughs> Let's just turn itself off now. Well, I mean, not really turn itself off. It'll just let air loose. So, what are we at? Is there even a pressure gauge hooked up to anything right now? I think we have to click on this. 4.6 bar. No, there is no uh, pressure gauge uh, on there currently, but I can do this. Uh -huh. um, it, it's doing the thing. It's at 4.6. 4. It's a nice safe area right there. Da -da -da -da. All right, let's hook it up to all the things. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna break these other ones. There we go. And I need one more uh, oh. pipe over here to connect everything else. You got it. Kerblammy. So now the refinery should be uh, getting, or rather, the um, vortex tube is getting uh, pressure now. Oh, wait, all the blocks are going back. Oh shit! Back where? Uh, behind the um, the vortex tube over here. Oh right, the compressed <laughs> pressure gauge to turn off your compressors helps them run efficiently. The safety valve ensures that it doesn't get too high before the compressors actually turn off. Right. I mean, you can have it so that they are both interconnected, but yeah. 
Yeah, I don't want to go that far. I, I still just like having a manual on off and this just lets it loose. So if, if we if we need to change it up, we will. But otherwise, I think it's all right as is. How's this doing? It is still refining. It's doing the thing. ECW, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the mischief. Um, and these are nice and chilly. Seven below. Sweet. So... We can actually move on to the next part, can't we? I think so. Well, this thing is going to need a vortex uh, tube as well, I think. Well, we have two to spare because we created a bunch for our little experiment last. Which means we also need more compressed. Oh, we've got six blocks of compressed iron. OK, yeah, so we're set. <laughs> um. But what does it need? Oh gosh, I'm trying to remember. Plastic. That's what we were going for originally. Was to make liquid plastic, but to do that you need a thermo pneumatic processing plant. Did you make one of those? Or was it just this thing? No. Nope. Because then this is used in the plastic mixer that you made to make the other stuff. So we need to make a Thermo pneumatic processing plant. There we go. Which is five compressed iron, a pressure tube, a couple glass, and redstone. I have some pressure tubes. I'll go make it quick. Oh, is there any compressed uh, iron? Yeah. I'm trying to remember what it was you were having. I've already forgotten. Siren. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I need glass. Short attention span. Uh. I can use some black stained glass. Look at that. Maybe. Maybe. Make that. Arr. Oh, there's a pneumatic craft repressurized manual. <laughs> that would probably be helpful. Oh, that's right. <laughs> the great turkey and rice skill. Cool. I'm glad you like it. So this needs liquid. It needs heat. And it needs uh, power, so or not power, the yeah, there we go. Fuel. Yep. It apparently takes coal as well to make liquid yeah, plastic. Yeah, I saw that. It's kind of weird. LPG and coal together yep. produces liquid plastic. So then we could plunk this thing down. I'm not going to put it down. I'm going to put a, a cobblestone down, but we could put it like next to this one here and then have another liquid hopper coming off of it maybe that feeds into the plastic mixer so then it would be like I need to get another liquid hopper but a liquid hopper would go up against this and then the plastic machine there maybe Okay. I guess. Why does it need a second liquid hopper? Uh, to pump the stuff out. I don't know if it uh, actually has an automatic pump out. Here, let me set it down. That's a weird hopper then. I mean, that's like the benefit of hoppers. I mean, if it works like an item hopper, like a normal hopper. It the these are, well, I mean, these are just like liquid hoppers. They're basically a directional single block piece of. Uh, fluid duct. <laughs> oh yeah, it's auto outputting into the refinery. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't see any reason why I wouldn't auto help. Oh yeah, I oh. mean, I was just saying I need to make another hopper for in between. Why? For in between the processing plant and the plastic mixer to get the plastic into the mixer. Do you know how to get it from? this thing into this thing no uh i assume they might have pipes for there probably is i just don't know I feel like there has to be the uh... only the thing i like about the liquid hoppers is that they actually will pull liquids from inventories they're adjacent to i mean because we could use immersive engineering pipes but they don't pull they're just there got it 
So like this would be here and this would be here. I would imagine also that the hopper um, also pushes. Yes, it does. Have some rum for me, Misfit? <laughs> Will do. It's a rum kind of night, huh? <clears throat> also use it. Factorio also uses coal in its plastic making. Okay. <clears throat> plastic is made from liquidated dinosaur corpse. Yes. <laughs> they were very pliable. <laughs> All right. Well, I will go make another liquid hopper, I guess. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, it's a bunch of glass. Crap. We don't have any more glass. I thought we had a bunch. I was smelting up so much. I've got three pieces. Let me look in the system. Nope. That is so weird. It has no piping that I can find in it. For what? Uh, Well, for the piping that we're talking about using liquid hoppers i was figuring if there was some way that they uh like how would you do this without another mod effectively well, i guess oh. technically the uh liquid, hop liquid, liquid hopper is pneumatic craft yes so plastic dinos are made out of dinos <laughs> dinoception the best dinos <laughs> put that back in take this out this out Thanks for smelting up the, uh, the iron Callisto. Oh, you're welcome. Take some of these out. Oh, I forgot to put the charging pad back in. Grab this. How much do I need for that? Five. I'm going to get ten just to be on the safe side because these, these liquid hoppers are fabulous. <laughs> there we go that should do and I'm going to take the rest of these out and put that in there we go alright on my way back hi Keon hi Merlin doesn't the mine colonies grinder NPC also grind up the iron clusters for more iron uh, the NPC grinds it into clusters and then from there you smelt it. From what we've been <laughs> learned. Can I make this? That actually requires back. regular hopper. I've got hoppers. Or I've got iron. Put those over there. A chest. Eight. There we go. Hopper and a liquid hopper. There we go. Okay. On my way back down. And. Okay. Hopefully. Yeah, that works. Okay. I can just put this. Here and oh, are you making up some more pressurized iron? No, I was not. It must have been some in the system that we uh, <laughs> that uh, got in there. I heard that too. I was like, "Oh, you must be doing that." <laughs> I feel like they haven't left the basement in days. Serious. <laughs> <laughs> I have two. It was... Yeah, I was actually looking at JEI the entire time, like reading over the various like <laughs> things. You see, this is why I don't stream, like you know, because I just sit here and like you know, going on in my head. Can I get up here? Let's see what we're doing for filter. Okay, that's still good. That's still and good. yeah, it's pretty much exactly it. That's exactly how I get. That's where my name comes. From. <laughs> 
<laughs> I tend to just lose focus on anything but exactly what it is that I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, Zone, I'm going to place down the uh, thermonomatic processing plant. It's a nice basement. <laughs> uh... I mean, I haven't, to be honest, they've been down as I and the opposite, I have not been down there at all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's nice as long as you don't care about decor at all. <laughs> <laughs> the dirt ceiling really ties it all together. <laughs> oh, I mean, if it was at least one thing like dirt, like, you know, it'd be good. But it's like cobble, andesite, like this purplish slate. Ooh, uh, ugly slate. Yeah, it's, it's all over the place. All right, I, uh, I suppose. Oh, that's gonna need heat as well. Oh, I'm gonna put some coal oh, in you there. You bastard! Oh, it needs pressure and heat. Ugh. How can you see me when I can? Ah, oh, fucking a. Jesus. Excuse Pete. me. <laughs> so we're gonna have to run the pipe. So there's a pipe coming into uh, this. Um, uh, what do you call it? The vortex tube. So you yep. probably run it out from under there and get another vortex tube that goes. How do you do that? Like... <laughs> ah, get off. Hmm. Laughing spider. Probably would have been smart to have it running trouble. up, but I've already placed it at this point. Um, yeah, see, this is where it'd be handy to pipe it further away. We could have the vortex tube coming in from underneath. Okay. And what you're talking about, sir? Well, you wrench it and figure out how to get it to move that direction. Then uh, I just, uh, I think we need a wrench. Uh, does it even have a wrench in this mod? I didn't even look. <laughs> Me either. I think somebody mentioned oh. it before. A pneumatic wrench. Right-click blocks to rotate them or pressure tubes to toggle the corresponding side of the tube open or closed. Sneak right-click pneumatic craft blocks to instantly dismantle the block, dropping it as an item. You have to get going, Agamemnon. Well, thanks for hanging out. Yeah, thanks for coming out. It was good to see you again, and congrats again on the new job. Indeed. So we need Congo red, orange dye, and end up. Air canister? Okay. That's not too bad. Um, we get one of these vortex tubes and some compressed iron underneath there. Uh, that is... Oh, we, it doesn't go from underneath. The vortex tubes are only horizontal. <laughs> That's what I thought. That's what I was uh, confused. Well... That's cold. That's not the side I want. Oh. Oh. Goose! Thank you for gifting five subs to the people in chat. Thank you very much. Jay Wilson, Tyrell, Tanith, Timo, and Knights, enjoy your subs. Thank you very much, Goose, for that uh, support. Thank you so much. Indeed. How are you, Goose? I haven't seen you. <laughs> there we go. All right. So there's a hot one. And then we could have. Does this one need one too? This needs temperature. Oh. <laughs> Show recipes. You know, it just needs to solidify stuff. And it can melt things. Oh, okay. So if we're melting plastic, it needs temperature. If we're solidifying, I don't think we do. So I don't think we need two vortex tubes on this. We just need this one over here. So feasibly, I could put it on the other side. And keep it out of the way of the rest of this stuff. Maybe. Then we put down the three blocks here. Like Your that. icon is too similar for when you're offline or on. Oh yeah. Hmm. I didn't. I didn't know that was a thing. To be honest, goes to show uh, <laughs> what I know. Oh. So... Oh, interesting. Wait, what? 
So the vortex to pass is pressure through it? it? Is that what I'm hearing Nightcast say? Well, I know that you can pressure the vortex, add pressure to the vortex tube. You have to put, apply pressure to it. Right. God, you're but he's saying okay. you, you can pass through it. Like, uh, I don't know. Okay. I'm willing to I don't to think try. we need to in this particular case, but... Do you have any pipe? Nope. Uh, do you have any compressed iron? Uh, oh, we got, have some. I got a little bit in there as well as some blocks as well. Let's do. Maybe we need to use the rainbow mouse or something like that. So when it's online, shows up a bit better. The offline icons are grayscale. Huh. Right. I've got. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Thanks, Thanks for that. Yeah, that's very good to know. <laughs> so like oh, you know. this coming down, right? One more and then it's all connected. And then it explodes. Oh, <laughs> oh it's already doing Boom. something. That temperature is going up. Yeah, those thermal compressors are doing a fantastic job. Problems. Apply more heat. Ins machine is poorly insulated. Oh. Oh, insulation to... again? Really? No. Burr. Oh, gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. It seems to be doing the... I'm just going to wait a second, though, because the temperature is still going up. If it just sits at 99, now it's going to sit at 95. Good thing you're offline all the time. <laughs> You've been online once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put some some of this for now. Uh, I guess all the sides are otherwise insulated. Does that help? Oh, that did it. Just needed a little insulation. We're making plastic. Wow, so it's, we're making that's quite the journey to uh... well, it's liquid plastic, right? Oh, what color do we need? Oh, God. Oh, no. I forgot uh, what we were making the plastic for. Only chat can decide. Oh, do we have to uh, We have to choose right now? Well, I mean, it, it's Your currently streams. <laughs> filling the plastic mixer, and it's just fabulous, so that that's just good. Okay, so we're I'm good for now. Yeah, we're so good for now. Also, what are we going to do with all the excess other stuff, like the kerosene and there are different generators and uses for it. burn baby let's see gasoline what can we do with gasoline we can probably create massive amounts of pollution <laughs> perfect we processed in a thermo pneumatic processing plant to produce lpg it is baby an blue. excellent liquid fuel equivalent in quality to thermal expansions refined fuel Flame this bucket can time. be placed Ooh. in a furnace i like so... the way you think jammers <laughs> So we could take a bucket of gasoline and put it in a furnace and it would work just fine. Perfectly Can I safe. take a flamethrower to the nether, please? <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> um, if, there, if there totally is a flamethrower, oh, there, yeah. There is. Immersive engineering yeah. accepts all sorts of fuels. I forgot. Yeah. There's a, there's a flamer in there. Oh, where is it? Immersive. Some players just want to watch the world burn. Uh, what's it called? Chemical thrower. Yes, a chemical thrower. Thanks, solitary bird. <laughs> and it works really good with a focused nozzle and a large tank. Multi. -tank. It already needs more coal. Oh yeah. So there is a nice coal node just waiting to be. <laughs> well, we've got automated. We've got fourteen buckets of plastic right now. So a coal <laughs> node. Yep. Where, where at? Um, it's actually there's like four or five of the little beauties. Um, they are. Hang on. Um, do I have the? Nope, that's the wrong button. Um, <laughs> ah, sexy time. What? Nice. Oh. <laughs> Don't you get Cover money. up your window with either a curtain or blind. That that seems to be a bit of a letdown from the title. <laughs> <laughs> it is um oh hang on wait what thumbcraft nodes oh man the hungry nodes they cause so it's much it's quite a ways away from base i guess 
It's like south. Oh, the coal node. Yeah, southwest. Do you have a waypoint to it? Oh, <laughs> maybe. That's oh yeah, point. that's right. Uh, oh wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Is that a? Um, hang on. One moment, call up. <laughs> sure. Yes, I would. Let's close this. There you go. Uh. <laughs> I'm trying to click on it and it does nothing. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> we can get black plastic and we can make sentry turrets with our mini guns. Uh, we can also make a programmer for programming drones. <laughs> Love my balance, just like, yeah, I'm not going for coal. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine. Uh... I think we, in order to make drones, I think we need to make uh, the circuit boards, and those require the uh, assembly line stuff. Yeah. So I think the assembly I/O unit, the platform, and drill and laser, are the things we need uh, to make with the plastic. Which is why I started the plastic in the first place. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Callisto, you've been shipped with Georgie Cookie. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Georgie Cookie, no. Assembly IO unit part of this. Bad mine colonist. <laughs> so <laughs> we need what? The IO do we need each one of those little robot arms? The IO uh, I don't know exactly. So I'm I'm trying so the recipe is for a printed circuit board. Um, if you look at what you know the unassembled PCB takes, this has like required machines. Assembly platform, assembly IO unit export, assembly IO unit import. And assembly laser. Okay. Because so we don't need the drill yet. But we need two assembly IO units, it looks like. Import Maybe. and export. Okay. So, oh wow. So we're going to need orange plastic for the first one. Uh, we're going to need blue plastic. Oh boy, we're going to need all the plastic. You also, need... also need etching acid. What etching the fluff acid? is that? <laughs> <laughs> what about these transistors? Oh, they, that's black plastic. Capacitor is cyan plastic. Oh my god. This is really in depth. <laughs> now I know why people, some people have simplified some of these recipes <laughs> in other mod packs. Oh, it even says what this is. Uh, assembly platform. Part of an assembly line holds the items so that they can be drilled slash lasered. Oh, so you put that down and then you put the robot arms around it. And they each take their time doing the thing. Uh, let's see. An importer, something that places it there. An exporter, something that takes it off. And a laser, something that does the, the zappy zap. And it's got the, uh, the laser program. Okay. But yeah. You said etching acid, didn't you? How did I end up over here? <laughs> the PCB. Tyrrell, thanks for the follow. Hi, Abigail. How you doing? Where did you see Good afternoon. the etching acid being needed zone? Uh, I just saw somebody mention it in, in chat. Oh, etching acid. But it does say, uh, place the etching acid in the world and throw in an empty PCB that has been exposed in a UV light box. After five minutes, an unassembled PCB will be be produced. And you need an unassembled PCB in order to make the printed circuit board. Ah, uh, okay. So then, it this is why it has two ways of doing it. One is an automated method oh, yeah, this, that is like shop. a few seconds long <laughs> and is really entertaining to watch and the other takes five minutes of sitting there in liquid or you can just do a little shopping or you can do oh what? okay is, is it look at the shop not that shop not the that. other shop oh amadron amadron <laughs> <laughs> is don't we need we need a GPS tool? Maybe that's oh. cheaper though. Cheaper chicken. We could. That's just some Wait, gray plastic. Is... Amadron. It's um. <laughs> it's it's a take of uh, drone crossed with the word Amazon. 
<laughs> and it, if you look up Amadron, D-R-O-N, uh, you'll see a little tablet-looking thing. And it's basically a mail order thing. And when you order stuff on there, amazing things happen. <laughs> <laughs> we totally need to do this and see what we can you get do. yeah it's true it, it is worth the what, one two three four five six seven seven gray and four red plastic hey tara all right i'm clicking this and how do i get it to go <laughs> oh we need we need colors Oh, I didn't know you could do it between oh between players on service. Yeah, sorry. For a minute, I thought you said between service, and I was like, "Holy shit!" <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we need red. But that makes more sense. <laughs> we need lapis. It would be insane, serious, insane. And we need some green zone could you take a look in the green. the plastic machine and tell me what colors it requires is it green today oh for, to make green plastic just a, it has three slots for different colors in it one is blue one is red and i can't i think the third one is is green <laughs> you should explain oh yeah it's green. red blue and green rgb green. okay uh I need to make an alembic. I got some news for you. We can't print anything until we end up getting some cactus. <laughs> harvested. It should already be cactus, right? You're right. We just don't have any harvested for some reason. There's none in the well, system. No, I. So I think that it probably is being harvested by the person farming, right? Mm, okay. Maybe. I didn't find so any of or no, no, I think because there's some out there, right? So. I planted two, but they don't seem to have grown. See, I think it's so the the same thing's happening with the sugar cane, and isn't it because somebody's harvesting it? Oh, you know what? If they are, they might be harvesting it, and it's breaking and falling on itself. Maybe. I don't know. Because no, this doesn't look like a farmer area, though. I know, but the sugar cane never gets above one high. Where oh, is, is the it? Because it's winter again. Where is the no. sugar cane? It's all I, gone. It's over here. It's because I was having the same problem, right? I'm like, what the fluff is wrong with the sugar cane? So I moved it over here. Still, never gets above one high. Yeah, neither did the cactus. Hmm. I was assuming. Whoa. Um, I was assuming it's because, uh, maybe I filled this in. Look at the... Oh, where's the... That it was because somebody was harvesting it. Where did the calendar nope. thingy get? Okay. I know, I'm not. The season clock. No, no, I was thinking it was the farmer guy. No? No, he only, um, harvests in a very specific area. Oh, okay. Then never mind. I don't know. It's a mystery. I see lots of cactus to the north of us. Whoops, I just broke that. It's true. There is a, a big ass desert up there. Uh, Zone, you want to go on a, a short adventure to the north? Uh, sure. Grab some it's cactus. Definitely not, yeah. Might as well. Definitely not. I've got my ocarina. Oh yeah, me too. Let's go, pony. <laughs> The Northern Suns. <laughs> Hui. Hey, Rhino. Oh, I, I hear the woo -woo, woo woo of the. What do you call it? Oh, God, that's a bad way to the go. The Nether Portal. Yeah, the Nether Portal. Oh, darn trees. I like that you can just go through them, but sometimes they're just really slow. Oh, the bees. Hey, Mystic Archivist. We are, playing, we, are, we are playing serious engineering. We are playing serious engineering. One day, I'm going to be able to remember what I need to make. Brass. Okay. I wait up for you. Okay, here we go. Oh, I bet you, Val, did you have a chance to take a look at the commands? 
The commands? You know how a bunch of your commands are broken. No, what are you talking about? In Listen. chat? Oh! No, I didn't. That's a good... Is is the pack thing not working either? It is not. Okay. Yeah, something definitely has changed or updated or something. I'm going to have to take a look at that for certain. Once again, I said this last stream, which was this morning. <laughs> Wee. So, Nubi, today is the day, right? Today is, is session day. Session day. Yeah. Oh, it's coal. <laughs> oh, neat. <laughs> Fantastic. I really want them to encounter Jill and Jeanette. <laughs> Uh, I'm still in these gold clusters. I think... Yeah. I don't see any belly button monsters. Wait, where are you going, buddy? Me? Nope, my horse. Oh. Oh, I'm just going to call him across to the other side anyway. Oh, actually, there's cactus right here. That's convenient. Oh, nice. I'm just going to take it all. I'm not replanting. Forget that. I don't need it. Rude. I mean, literally, they're just going to kill themselves on it. <laughs> also going to take the sugar cane. I see some over here. Because I have a feeling we're going to need that. <laughs> Considering it's not growing. Are you sure you want to get it, though? Why it's not? It's next to the bees. Oh. <laughs> I'll risk it, man. Risk it for the biscuit. Biscuits are worth risking it for. What don't you see in the config? Oh, the our seasonal challenges. Maybe it's fall. I mean, no. things aren't growing. I don't know. I mean, these are vanilla uh, plants, so. I think they're talking about horses swimming, not the cacti. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Off topic villain strikes again. <laughs> Uh, there's some sugar cane. If anything, there's there's a lot of sugar cane and cactus in this village. Uh, there's a bunch of wheat. There's oh, Mr. Goat. A bit more cactus. Oh, is this? That's a lot of wool. Oh. Oh, hello. That's a little slow to harvest, but still. It is wool nonetheless. Wool that doesn't need to be crafted or made or anything like that, and it'll be good for filtering. Just keep them with the stripe theme. Holy crap, this desert is like full of cactus like I have never seen before. It is pretty heavily populated. It's it's a it has to be said. It's a danger area. There's a lot of cactus! <laughs> <laughs> all right so i've got 20 i've got oh i've got almost your boyfriend is watching life insurance ads what <laughs> there we go the more of this too oh sand i just realized we're, we're out of sand <laughs> do you have a shovel uh yes as a matter of fact I sanding it up <laughs> you can use a garden close from the immersive engineering to grow cactus and sugar cane, but you need oh. something to pump water in and energy. Um, we also can. Uh, no um, I think we can make. Uh, I Callisto mentioned this last time, so we can make a, a cobble into sand by making it into gravel first, and then. Yeah, her crusher villager can crush. Mm -hmm. yep. All sorts of stuff like that. Yeah, the Grind. cloche. The cloche is nice. <laughs> when you don't want to make a farm of stuff, the cloche is really nice. Very uh, nice. Put that in there. Get a little bit more sand. If only I wasn't the one that made the pack. No. <laughs> cloche might be a valid option. Oh no. No, it's, it's what did you do? No, Hang he, on, he made look. the cloche recipe a little bit more challenging. <laughs> 
Oh, I see. Greenhouse yeah. glass. <laughs> Which actually makes sense. It does, yeah. The cloche is kind of OP. But it and also it requires an aura. arcane lamp from... I see that. Well, I am working my way there. <laughs> but I'm not halfway there. Oh. So you're still living off a prayer. Yeah, something Ugh. like that. <laughs> <laughs> all right something like that is it is it late enough to sleep Ooh. i think it might be i'm sleeping all right well i'm just gonna hold the button until i can sleep and i'm gonna have a sip of tea um what was i gonna do i was making right. was... oh he pumped up the the amount of electricity it uses too it's all right more watch wheels <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna fill the river with water. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be like a stack of them, you know, just like be some below ground, some below the ones below ground. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think I'm gonna head back. Just okay. go full Robin and just spam. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Have you seen some of the the massive quantities of water wheel builds he's done? <laughs> 256 RF per tick. It's also slower than its default. I think that's totally appropriate, actually. It's always been a little... I don't know. It should uh, help prevent people from uh, spamming, from spamming them as the frequently as they usually do. It is pretty OP. Sometimes, though. Just sometimes <laughs> you want, like... Not to have to set up a farm for a whole thing. <laughs> All right, Pony. <laughs> I'm actually pretty glad, glad that you you put the Crystal. Oh, dude with my horse mod in here. It does make things a little more fun. I don't have a lot of aqua left. Try swimming with the horse. What? Try swimming with the horse. But my horse might drown. Oh, the. There's belly button monsters. I don't want to go in there. <laughs> I'll go over here. All right, try swimming with the horse. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, it kicks Negative. you off. Negative. But it, it's bouncing. Come here, pony. There we go. Swims like a rock. <laughs> it swims like a rock. <laughs> it's funny because horses are actually pretty good swimmers. Oh, are these evil mousy plants? They don't seem to be bothering us. That's I weird. I had that. No. Those are like man-eating plants. But oh. Okay. Oh. I don't know what triggers them though. I'm doing that the wrong way around. Let's try that again. They look really yeah, cool. Crap. Whee. Uh. That was a great jump. <laughs> I hear you, frogs. Wow, your horse can jump. <laughs> oh no, not all the, not through all those. Not the bees. <laughs> no, not the bees. Got a one fourteen option. <laughs> hey, rocks can skip across water. That that chicken has a little Mickey Mouse uh, Mickey Mouse wizard hat. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> I can't see. Whoa! How did I end up down here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, this forest is just so thick. Yep. <laughs> and we're home. Dur, 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 dur. Thank you, ponies. I need to smelt up some of this cactus. Toss in that. I'll put the rest I have in the system. Thank you. Oh, do you need to make glass too? Yeah, I'm, I'm smelting a bunch of that too. All right. All right. Oh. And I'm going to dump a bunch of the sugar cane and sand. And hope that it goes in the right chests. Iron. Uh, actually, I'm going to 
check that we're not polluting too much up here. I haven't been running the uh, blast furnace or anything, so. Doing okay. Doing okay. Boop. And. Got a couple blocks of steam. One day they might listen to you, serious. What? Although, to be honest, I. Oh, crap, that's not what I wanted to make. Yeah, I'm faster with a recall. Oh, okay. we have yet to actually find any Endermen. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. I think we we might have. Uh, let's see how many Ender Ender Pearls we have in the system. I think one. I think two, six. <gasps> I think you have yet to actually look for any Endermen. I think we need to like get some enchanted stuff going on because I was just thinking about this, like the Nether Quartz in the Nether doesn't actually seem to be like super prolific so i was saying i really need like <laughs> wait, is that looting right oh yeah maybe so that, and that would be good to have on a on a s word or whatever as well mm -hmm. fortune thank you sci fortune. i always get those back to front front to back smrt that's funny i usually say i need luck <laughs> <laughs> That's for like fishing rods. <laughs> okay. I think I've got everything. All right. Probably not. But... Got the new stuff. So we need gray and we need red, I believe. Let's dump some of this stuff that I have here. Wool, cactus. By the way, uh, we've got more steel, slag, copper, sulfur, coal dust. Oh, and I've still got a charging station to plunk down. <laughs> do, do, do. Duck at the sea. I'm just going to put that right there. Put that right there. In fact, might even put my minigun in there. Nope, that's going from the minigun. Never mind. It is not reaching high enough capacity, apparently. We have too big of a network. <laughs> yeah it's not even getting up to two i think it's probably because it's still refining all this stuff at the refinery as well yep i yeah. believe it which is this thing even getting power it doesn't There's seem a switch on the back oh a cable has disappeared on the ceiling Do you see a cable connecting the two relays? Nope. That is weird. Not known of anything shorting out before. Hmm. Okay. Well, we got blue. Got red. And that's green. Yep. I'll do a bit of green. Wait. So we've got enough for each of those right now, and we can choose. Oh, shit. What? Nothing. A pollution, well, a pollution block. block can destroy it. Oh. Uh, there was a single piece wandering around in here for a bit. I thought, well, luck of the sea is only cons consulted when fishing, but I thought that a luck bonus in general increased the chance for better loot when opening chests maybe a pollution blocks. he says yes but i think he's responding to the pollution block <laughs> all right um amadron <laughs> this is so gonna be worth it all right we need a gps tool which is red Okay, so can we do this? And show recipes. Yep. So how do we get it to do the thing? I'm so glad it's Friday. Hole temperature, item temperature. Temperatures. That's what you said last Friday. <laughs> do we need to drop the temperature? Yep. No, there is no temperature gauge. Luck of the sea only affects fishing. Luck in general affects fishing. <laughs> Serious creep says, me too, Kashka. 
Oh, yep, to luck. Okay. Um. So how do I get red plastic out of this thing? I mean, it's... A, oh! Ha! I just click it once. I've got red plastic. Okay. So just... One, two, three... Wow, that is so cool. I All made right. an Olympic! One, two, three, oh, four, yeah. five, six, seven... Boop. Gray. Oh! Plastic fantastic. Nice! <laughs> Three, Did you guys have weekend off? Six, seven. One step closer to danger noodle. <laughs> no probes. Here we go. All right, zone. I'm gonna make a GPS tool and then turn it into an Amadron tablet. Nice. You up for this? <laughs> Heck yeah. Uh, I think it looks like you might need to charge it first, maybe. Yes. Uh, which makes sense. So let's see. GPS tool. We need pane of glass. Under pane of glass. A diamond. It's so worth it. Oh, rumors. <gasps> Southeast again. <laughs> I'll go take care of it. <laughs> Before I even finish saying that, Zone's like, swords out! <laughs> yep. Are you guys over there already? Uh, I guess technically I am in the south. Okay, I'll let you take care of it. <laughs> okay. Like, Go to it. Uh, south and east. Okay. Redstone uh, torch. This. There's one redstone torch. I have to say solitary, but it's really nice. Like, that validation is pretty good. This so thank you, guys. The oh. of finding high quality for fishing or naturally generated chest. The higher the level of potion imbued by a player, the higher the chance they'll find high quality loot. So we're watching y'all. A year ago, there were 20 viewers per stream. Now there's nearly 50. It's nice. It's not always the same per stream, but hey, <laughs> I, I'm I'm happy that people are enjoying themselves. Exactly. And I'm I'm also happy that I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> and I can only hope that everybody else I'm playing with in here is, is enjoying themselves too <laughs> you will enjoy yourself <laughs> oh boy better than villagers no not better than my villagers I'm just kidding are you kidding these are miniature hovering flying villagers really <laughs> Those are better than the <laughs> I'm gonna go plug this thing in for a minute. It needs a, it needs a charge uh, on on the tablet charger. <laughs> I made tallow. Oh, grass! <laughs> it is a symbiotic relationship. Seriously, enjoy speaking. yourself. We would enjoy ourselves. <laughs> and but it works in reverse, right? Like. <laughs> Commented oh, no, chat. I know Callisto is enjoying herself with her sexy curtains. Yeah, they turned out to be a bit of a disappointment. Oh no. Sad face. Yeah. So I don't know, maybe if you get bored later, uh Kashka, you can go try to fix my bedroom. So I was trying to make like a uh like a raised platform bed with like uh, like a canopy and curtains but I couldn't get it you know what I was just seeing something and hang on where was that where was that where, where was what hang on I'm, I'm I swear I saw something in Thumbcraft about like there were um, oh banners or some something weird where I was like what is this hang on hang on I find it is this upstairs? Is this what's going on up here? Hey. Oh, nice. Um, Keep yeah, banners. All right, so. Maybe these would work. Oh, nice call. Yeah. <laughs> Take a nap. <laughs> like you want me to do work? This nap time. <laughs> the curtains turned out to be just like one block. And it wasn't. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> I heard that. That wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> All the way in the attic, I heard that. <laughs> Where's we... your view switcher? Yeah, I know, we haven't done that in a bit. I don't know. Yeah, we tend to only do it when it's just Kashka and myself, because then it you know, it just kind of excludes other people that we might be streaming with. It just feels weird that way. 
Um, so 22 wool will get us... Yeah, the commands are a bit broken. I'm sorry about that. I don't know why. Suddenly, randomly. Hmm. Frozen cone. It's not my sexy curtains. <laughs> <laughs> Two buckets of lubricant can get us an <laughs> To go with the sexy curtains. <laughs> <laughs> We can sell off the excess uh, fuel zone. Oh, nice. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel, though, that... Um, actually, I just realized something. These things retain their inventory. So, like, there's... There's a lot of stuff going in here. Uh, what if I took out the gasoline? Because I think that's an item we can sell. Because I want to place this outside so we get the, the best effect for it. We can sell this. Yeah, two buckets of gasoline gets us an emerald. That would be great. So let me break this. And it should... Yep, it retains its, its contents. All right. Let's go outside. Okay. Okie doke. Uh, this looks like a perfect spot. I'm going to put this down right here temporarily. All right, Kashka, are you in the nether right now? Nope. Okay. So if I click this thing, I can tell it. Let's see. Is it this? There we go. I sneak click, and it actually placed like a little marker on this. I don't think anybody else can see this, but I, I can nope. see this. Uh, because I'm holding it. it says fluid providing location so this is me saying this is where you trade liquid from and I'm going to order uh, uh, I just forgot what I was doing God damn it. an emerald by giving it two gas a uh, couple of um, gasoline here see if I could actually do this can I can I click no problems trades information Actually, I'll read it. It says, uh, items used to order I items. Squid. To... Oh, I, I didn't. Well. I haven't chosen a spot for items to be given. <laughs> Gosh, <Excuse> just fishing. <laughs> <laughs> so we need some kind of inventory to place Ding. down. Sorry. Uh, let me grab a chest quick here. Uh, spruce chest will do. Ooh. Because it's going to drop off uh, an item for the trade, we have to tell it where to deposit stuff as well. What is the swap o -matic guy doing here? He ran away from a, a zombie a while back. Oh, okay. All right. Item providing location. So, now when I click this... Really? I have to craft these? Mother All right. Anybody flapping. wants to see what happens, come on over. Mother flapping. What, what are we looking at? Let's go. Did you want to see the uh, the the Amadron delivery? Yeah. Yes, I'm coming. All right. So the we'll idea see. here is I'm providing two buckets of gasoline and receiving an emerald, and that's what the the gasoline and the or the liquid container is here for, and the chest is here for. So let's. I think he. Down. I guess I think he just wants to show this off. <laughs> it is cool. It's it's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not enough pressure. What? You need, to, you need to put pressure inside the tablet. It's already used the pressure up. Holy cow. I I had four bars of four pressure in it. Climax. <laughs> it was a big anticlimax. What the heck? Put it in. What the heck? Opening I had no it idea. Drains it. Opening drains it. Oh, oh that oh, oh, sucks. Oh. I can only get like Oh, it wasn't four no, bars. It was no, like 4,000 no, durability or something on there. All right. So, got it. Coming back up. Sorry, folks. I'll try and be quick so that it doesn't uh, take any longer. All right. There we go. And scroll down a page. Here. Uh, place. Place order items. A basket, a drone will come to retrieve your payment and another to deliver your purchased items. Why can't I? Oh, there we go. Place order. I had to right click on the emerald. So now we just look to the sky. There it is. 
Guys. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> and that just took two buckets of liquid. Bye. And then there should be another one that comes by. Bye. And will provide the item. And it'll just, like, go up into the distance and eventually disappear. Maybe? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh hey. got new. <laughs> 2,000 damage. <laughs> and then another one comes. And then it deposits. Bloop. The emerald. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> 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 I love how it just takes a massive amount of. Uh, there we go. Uh, yeah. That was it. it. You so it's it's got like this little ordering screen on there that you can check out and you can trade emeralds for things or things for emeralds. That's and nice to have something to put our gasoline in. Yeah. So we can keep on selling stuff like that. Start. Your oldest dog is named Diesel. We were trying to come up with a name for our puppy. I thought of gasoline, but I, I don't think calling a, calling out for gassy would be classy. <laughs> jeez. Oh, Welcome geez. back, Siren. Yeah, you can buy assembly programs. I just don't understand any of it quite yet. It does have oh. information tabs on the sides. And we now have at least one emerald. <laughs> it takes like eight to get uh, some of this stuff. Let's see. Emerald. What can we do to, to get emeralds? You don't have uh, emerald... And stuff too? emerald bees yet, do you? Wait, uh, I'm working on it, but it might be a little bit longer. Okay. What was that, Zoe? Uh, kerosene was another one, uh, one of the other liquids that we produce. Okay. Uh, that we don't have any use for for it currently. Oh, we can buy eight of them for 160 uh, <laughs> mega bucks. Serious monies. <laughs> <laughs> Serious coinage. Find an emerald vein. Uh, or there's that too. How much serious money do I have? I have 179. I could. I have just enough to buy some emeralds. I can get eight. Would that get us one of those things? <laughs> those PCBs? Is Gendistry in here? I can't remember. Mm, oop, oop, no. Binny's Genetics is. There's a, there are a bunch of B mods in here, though. But Binnies, though I kind of regret that decision. <laughs> oh, Hedgy, did I leave some glass over here? Universal sensor. Yes, I did. I will. And programmer left with empty program and create new coordinate puzzle piece. Oh, yeah, yeah. The GPS tool, by the way, is something that you use to, I think, help program things. All right, so let's see. <clears throat> so I feel that was a reward in itself, just having the little drones come up to us. <laughs> logistics, Indeed. harvesting drone, logistics drone, airborne robot which performs logistic tasks, used to define these tasks. Does anybody know if you can use the drone the drones as like a defense mechanism? Like you can equip them with guns and they can shoot dudes? Like, oh we're under attack. Release the drones. Wow, that was quite shouty. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> that, that would be that would be quite nice if that was a thing. It performs logistic tasks. Hmm. Should be able to. <laughs> That would be interesting. Sign your own UI buttons they will not be heard. <laughs> hey Raven! I think so, yeah. They can carry items. There might be an attack program logic. Interesting. Release the groans if that helps. Ugh. <laughs> so printed circuit board. How do we make etching acid? No, I didn't even need to look at who said that. <laughs> 
Oh, you think they have needle guns? <laughs> you can give them mini guns? Oh. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> That'd be pretty amazing. So we could make etching acid with gunpowder, rotten flesh, green plastic, spider eye, and water buckets. <laughs> That's nighttime. I do a sleep. All right. Are these do these warded jars please tell me that the sound for the warded jars hasn't changed. It has not changed. Oh, thank God for that because it is a thing of beauty. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> I remember spending like a serious amount of time just running around on the tops of the jars. <laughs> me too. <laughs> oh my God, it's so good. I've missed you, ordered Charles. <laughs> <laughs> Pipes expanding and such. Uh, so oh. See, I like the um, the oh tink, God, tink, tink, tink noise, uh, like the ice cubes and glass noise that you get from breaking certain crystals in Thalmcraft. Um, I was going to make something and I can't remember what it was now. It's not, <laughs> it's not the steam armor. It was... For, oh, right. It was the etching acid. Got a bucket and we need tons of mob drops. So, oops. I think I'm just going to spend the rest of the stream making water jars if that's cool with you guys. <laughs> Have. Okay. Have at it. If you want to make uh, stones, uh, warding stones of travel or whatever they are, that would be yeah, great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get in uh, line. <laughs> Gunpowder. Spider eye. Um. Let's do etching. Oh, I have to mess Two around with the pipes. I don't remember. Hmm? You, like the essential tubes? Is that what you're talking about, Sirius? Like they make noises? Yeah, they make like creaky noises oh, and stuff. I don't recall what that sounds like, so now I have to make some of those. <laughs> Clearly. Uh, and we need green plastic. Bitium. And the etching acid is used for. I don't think I have any of these. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's that's the bucket. <laughs> Metallum and vacuos. That that's that's all the bucket. There's nothing to do with the acid. Whoa! What? We need a. Use for this. Not a failed PCB. How do we make a regular one? A UV light box? With this machine, you can expose empty PCBs to UV light. If this happens in such a way that only a part of the PCB gets exposed, this part will hold its copper traces when etched in an etching tank. The longer you expose a PCB, the higher the chance that the PCB will be successfully etched. Hmm. And to make an empty PCB, it's green plastic and compressed iron. Oh, we need green plastic for this, too. Okay. Whoa, look at that nether stew. Zone? Wowzers. Yeah. Are you up for trying to make some PCBs? Uh, sure. I mean, I've got the ingredients for one. I figure we could try one for now. Because we're going to be tossing it in etching acid, but I guess if it if it's in there for too long, then things get ruined. So I'm going to. Oh, but I guess it also needs to first go in the tank. So here, I will give you a bunch of stuff. This, these, 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 and I'm going to make. Yeah, we've got some. How much we got in there? Three. We can't even seem to get enough pressure to. Uh, we uh, need one and a half bars power. to do this. Do we have enough for that? Uh, it looks like we are like right about there. One point five nine. I suppose we've got the extra compressors we could turn on too, but you know, coal. <laughs> Fuel. I'll toss 
some of these in here. Three in that one. Three in that I just, one. I think there's a backup in our um, our compressor. Backup in. Oh. Like there's stuff just sitting yeah. in there. Yeah. Let's see. Oops, I took out the item filter for an iron ingot. Well, I don't know what's actually in there at the moment. I guess we'll find out. Um, do you know how to make plastic now? Uh, I get the gist of it. Put that in there. Oh, it's one coal per plastic. Or, or is it? I think it is. I think it's one coal equals one piece of plastic. Wow. Ah, crap. Oh, shoot. And we need a PCB blueprint for the UV light box? What? <laughs> Which we have to order from an Amadron tablet. <laughs> <laughs> Which will require at least eight emeralds. So I think I'm going to buy the eight emeralds. <laughs> Okay. Actually, I mean, we could also get a bunch. I mean, we have a ton of, uh, like the these liquids, like, uh, kerosene and uh, gasoline can both be sold. True enough. Do you want to try selling up the rest of the stuff we had upstairs? Maybe selling a few more of these other ones. Uh, sure. I just need to repressurize the tablet because it apparently can't hold that much. Mm, uh, yeah. or we can't really give it that much pressure. But... Yeah. Got so much. Yeah, I don't know why our system is is having such a hard time. Yeah, it's never gotten to the height where it's going to just start evacuating air either. I think it's just because of the the sheer quantity of the um the tubes and pipes we have right now. That's really annoying. I think Yeah, the refinery is still doing its thing as well. I could shut it off by just disconnecting it. That would lessen the uh, the load by probably fifty percent. All right, give it a shot. At the very least, we can finish what's in the pressure chamber. Well, oh, pressure is definitely going up much faster now. Yeah. And the refinery will probably like just grind to a halt. Yeah, I think it's just completely stopped. Yep. Because there's no power, there's no pressure coming through any of these at the moment. Uh, which, what is it we need for this? It is one green plastic. Can I still get? Yes, I can. Uh, so I think. This is needed here. I think there's such a thing as too long for etching. Oh, really? Or for UV? It needs one compressed iron and one compressed plastic. All right. We've got three extra blocks. Unless, oh, there's a bunch in here. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of compressed iron <laughs> being made. I think it just finished. <laughs> Might take this off. Why does that always happen? Every time, it always goes too far. <laughs> Do you hear the snoring? <laughs> this is pretty good. Snooze. <laughs> She's tired. She had a busy day meeting cows. You also need to put the gasoline hopper back because the refinery can back stuff. Can back stuff. It is that way. She's doing a snooze. Right. I see. There's three and three and a half gasoline buckets in the refinery itself. They weren't hiling cows, though. No. They were just regular cows. Coos. <laughs> Coos. Uh, is this just not wanting to come out? What's going on? It's not in there. Oh, it's not coming out because I removed the hopper. <laughs> it should pop out through there. 
Yep, it did. Okay. These are difficult to get. What are? These uh, files. Oh, yeah? Yeah, for the Essentia tubes. The, for the research. Oh, yeah. Those are Vitium. not. Mm -mm. Vinculum. Face of filter. Alienus. And Alchemia. Begins with. Particularly the Alienus. Not. Um, no. I think it contains. Contains PCB. There we go. Yeah, PCB. So it shouldn't come out until it's actually a PCB. If I put this in here, one of those, and one of those. Whoop. Is it really going to insert those? Yeah, one at a time because they're different items. There it goes. Might be able to drag from JEI into the item filter slot. That would be good. Uh, but I'm worried that it's going to have like NBT data or something. I'm just going to use the the filter with the name. <laughs> All right, what do I need? What do I need to buy with the emeralds? Um, it is. Hold on a second. A PCB blueprint. PCB blueprint. Okay. Oh, wait, it's right at the top. It's, I think that there's different demand for it. Uh, th this is why it's showing me three different demands. <laughs> but luckily it's only eight. Uh... There's a mechanic villager that will sell one to us for 10. Huh, I didn't know that Pneumaticraft added its own villager type too. Oh, PCP's ready to come out. And you're done. Bye. <laughs> Doesn't do much by right. itself. I think I beat it. Nice. Nice. All right, so, so I've got... there's your blueprint, sir. Oh, nice. And now you're done. <laughs> now I'm done. Where did? Where are you? How did I get the blueprint? You just. Yep, I just threw it in your inventory and ran. I I think I think you, it's witchcraft. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I've got an empty PCB, but I see that there are use for this. Uh, there's oh. different things we can do with it. There's the etching okay. acid. That's not an option. Sorry. I'm and then there's myself, the UV not light. Not your etching acid. <laughs> Nether ward. Okay. Which requires pressure, of course. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> right. Good news is we're up to three and a half, three and three quarter bars. <laughs> oh, nice. Well done with getting those to actually connect. <laughs> That's not yeah, enough. it was frustrating already. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Charge in UV box first, then into the etching acid. We have to do both? Really? Okay. So I need to make the uh, this thing then. So three redstone lamps are needed, which I don't even know what I, I don't remember the last time I made those. Glowstone and redstone. Uh, uh oh, oh, we've got a little bit. Eee, not <laughs> much. Glowstone. Gotta go to the Nether. We're actually getting a little bit. Twenty low emeralds on. in that chest. I know. Yep. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> hey, Zone. Yeah. There's twenty emeralds in our in our uh, in our chest in here. I'm not going to the nether. It's, it's definitely Valon's turn to go to the nether. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I've got two of them. Where did that go? Three. There it is. 
Got the vitium and the vinculum. That's enough. I don't know three. what to do for the aliens. Uh, I hate to say it, but it's probably going to be something like Ender related. I know. Or Shulker boxes. Yep. All <laughs> kinds of end chisel. UV light box. Is there anything else this blueprint can be used for? No. Okay. Well then. Redstone, glowstone, put away. We now have a UV light box. Uh, where do you think we should connect it? Nope. I don't know. Maybe next to the charging station. No, that's there's a pipe there. I'll put it right here. That is not connecting. <laughs> Hey, there we go. All right. It's It's got pressure. It's got a lot of pressure. Did you get it up to 5? Wow. Um so yeah, we did by cutting off the other stuff. It helped out a ton. No PCB to expose. Insert an empty PCB. Current pressure. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just insert this empty PCB and we'll see what happens. <laughs> How did you make the PCB again? Uh, I tossed a piece of green plastic and a compressed iron ingot into the tank. Got it. And then oh, I, I see it has the etch, etch, etch success chance in it. 16. If you hover over the PCP. Oh, yeah. Which seems to be increasing. Yeah. Throw in so etching acid is like, you know, to develop. Keep it in there for a longer period. Okay, so we need a spot for etching acid. I've got blocks here we can just toss it down here next to the uh crafting table oh we need can you make that etching acid <laughs> i gave you the ingredients for it i don't uh, think you gave me the plastic uh i will grab some plastic and then i'll change the filter so it comes out uh green green all right sheep all right yeah there you go I need your this bulbs. to be acid. Okay. Wait, why can't I find the recipe for that? Uh, try looking up acid, I guess. I mean, I see etching acid, but I click on it and it just shows. Uh... Are you clicking on the bucket or the. Like the acid itself. Try clicking on the bucket version. I see. And I'm, I changed the output filter so it should come out only with etching acid. Otherwise, the items might come out randomly, you know. Oh, got it. How you don't know one? How you doing? Other sources of alien is outside of Ender Pearls, though. But Project Red Logistics. Mm. Yeah, I'm going for the banners. The banners apparently give that, but. Um, first I gotta find sheep. Because we only have like three wool. Aha! I found yeah, some we sheep. we have tons of string. We have a lot. What? I just harvested a whole bunch of wool. Like, a stack's worth or something. Where the heck is it? Because it's not in the mob shop. I tossed it in the, the system. I put it in the fire. It must have gone to the, the off chest. Like the... That success chance. I mean, I have two on me right now. How many do you need? Um, I think. Hang on. Where were the banners? One sec. Oh, There's no. six. If you're making the same kind, I am. Sixty-two. Uh, 62. each banner needs like three each. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can make you a whole bunch right. Oh. Okay. Cool. Watching the pressure. Um, I will finish clipping the sheep that I just found. And then okay. I'll be back. Where the heck did that one go? 65%. I just saw you, you little bastard. There's no valid items in the chamber. What the hell is going oh, on? Oh, there you are. I see you. One of those. Okay. So I can't see any of those items that I just put in, uh, in the chamber itself. I saw them go through the, like, you know, chamber. Yeah. Like, I can't see them being processed, and it says, like... 
think that's as high as it's going to get. Are they... Oh, that's because the etching acid is ready to come out. Let me put the hopper back. There you go. Oh, the hopper is gone. Sorry, okay. I had to do that so I could modify the output to allow it to come out. I got it. Okay. Okay. 72%. Don't spill it on your shirt. Okay. <laughs> it's good to know. I hope it doesn't eat this uh, uh, crafting table. The configuration option in Arcane Archives that gives you that allows you to access your manifest without having a manifest on you. Seventy-five percent. So this is where it takes like five minutes or something. Thanks, Nimi. Wow, well, getting that etch percent up past like the like fifty percent mark seems to be a real slow. Yeah. That's why I actually, uh, I switched the levers over here for a moment and then I was watching the, um, the, the bar pressure while you were putting the stuff in the tank. Cause I was also watching the pressure drop and I'm like, eh, maybe more pressure makes it go up faster, which it did. But then I turned it back down again because <laughs> I didn't want it to leave it on five because it was getting really close. Yep. You can make speed up. Oh. There's 36 in there. Do you need more? Wow. No, that's plenty. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh. Speed upgrades require lubricant, though, from immersive petroleum. Which we can order from an Amadron tablet. <laughs> <laughs> or we can make it from diesel with a piece of redstone in a thermo pneumatic processing plant. Hmm. How's this doing? Eighty-three percent. That's gonna take a bit. <laughs> Still happy that we've got a lot of uh, uh, pressure now in the system. It's just like kind of getting using these air compressors to help get it up there, and then we shut them off. I mean, it only took like a couple pieces of coal, and then everything was up there, and we're good. Yeah, that's handy. It's just that extra little boost when you need it. 85%. So does this actually need to get to 100% or this is just the chance of success if you decide to stop early? It's just the chance of success. I mean, that's literally what it says on it. I would assume that's pretty literal. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that. You don't know one. You've got a little mousy face next to you. It's super cute. Well, thanks for hanging out, Knights. Mm -hmm. Enjoy we'll the rest later. of your day. Thanks for coming by. All right. Uh, it's at 88%. Um, so, uh, what are we making our first PCB with? Uh, PC I was looking at the assembly stuff, but um, maybe speed upgrades? Uh, is that a thing that requires... PCBs it does not it requires lubricant which oh, we can lubricant. We, could, That's we, right. we can make that though um, we'll just need to use one of these uh, thermo pneumatic processing plant thingies probably one that isn't <laughs> already connected up there or something I don't know if they hold their inventory just leave it alone I'm leaving it alone I'm not taking it out it's at 91% it's scarlet cat Hi, Scarlet. You need to set up a mechanical user with a ruler to slap your hands because you keep fiddling with it. I'm just looking at it. <laughs> Look. 92%. No touchy. 92. What you playing? We are playing Serious Engineering. It's a modded Minecraft mod pack by Serious Creeper, who is currently in chat. There he is there. With your eyes, not your cursor. I see. It's almost there. Try Barry to... Barrett demands a job now. Got to work, Barry. <laughs> she doesn't know how lucky she is. I'm still feeding her. She doesn't have to work. <laughs> Sounds pretty good to me. Right? Printed circuit board. Oh, I remember those days. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought we needed this for 
Jeez, not the pneumatic boots. I mean, we, we do need it for that, but I'm just worried this is like going to overcook. Like if it gets to 100% and we haven't taken it out, if it's going to be a ruined PCB, because I've seen, I see one of those in here, failed PCB. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's when it fails to etch in the acid. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. The use for this. I'm sure that we needed this for making something. Oh yeah, the drill, the assembly drill. It was the laser, oh, wow. wasn't it? Oh, it's assembly IO unit too. Yeah. Oh, so we're gonna need more than one of these. Well, it's a good thing we've got more emeralds, but <laughs> pressure bar. How's it doing? 99%. No hands. I'm not touching. <laughs> no touchy. Have you played Rebirth of the Night? No, but I did see that was con that uh, is out on 112. I was surprised because I thought it was originally a 1.7 pack. Once you have an assembly line, it's so much easier to make. Them. Yes. Super smart bobs are so hard. <laughs> Yes, they are. Look at that, 100%. I'm taking it out of the UV light box now. It is now out. Throw in etching acid to develop. So, how long do I leave it in the etching acid now? It doesn't actually say, does it? Place an I mean, etching acid in the world and throw in an empty PCB that has been exposed to UV light box. After five minutes, an unassembled PCB will be produced. Oh. After five minutes. Leave it in for a few episodes. Okay. <laughs> I've got a timer. We, we can... No, we're not doing that. We're doing stopwatch. I don't want an <laughs> alarm to go off. So here we go. Ready? Thank you. Go, go, go. And I picked it right oh. back up. That was great. Okay. <laughs> Stop. Reset. Start. Okay. There we go. And it's just kind of floating. I didn't think about this. Uh, serious? Oh, um, hmm. I hope I that hope that works. <laughs> right. I totally <laughs> forgot. The flat items, uh, they float to the top. Sure, it'll be fine. <laughs> Maybe put a block above it. I'm, I'm worried about putting a block above it, but that is valid possibility. We'll try. Put I was looking there. at the particles too, thinking it looks like it's doing a thing. It is doing a thing. It's It's got bluey, weird particles going on, so I think I'm just going to leave it. I've got the timer going. We can check on it in four minutes and ten seconds, okay? which is a good four or five seconds after five minutes. <laughs> um, in the meantime, I'm putting this coal away in these blocks, this compressed iron. Um, so do we need, we need to make a whole nother one of these, don't we? Because oh, one what? those, we need the, um, the robotic arm things. Yeah, that's a good point. You could look at the bounding. Oh, box. yes. Well, even if I saw the bounding box, it would still be at the top of the liquid, but actual bounding box the item is. In just a moment, I will. Um, so we need an assembly unit. Like half of the bounding box is on, like in that block area, but like half of it's like above it. Ooh. Tough to say. It should be packing, but Minecraft is more fun. While our house is closing on the 19th instead of the 28th. Ooh! Ooh! Go, go, go! Physics mod to make items float on water. <laughs> we'll find out. It's okay. It's fine. I'm sure it'll work. Putting pipes in there. All right, so that should be the alienus. Um, all right, so I, I believe we're going to need an assembly platform that requires a printed circuit board, which then requires a lot of transistors. Shoot, we're going to need a lot more plastic. 
Yep. That's going to require a bunch more coal to make the plastic. Oof. All right, I'm going to throw a bunch in here, I guess. But there we go. Oh, but that's not going to work because we cut off. <laughs> I forgot. We disconnected the main the this from the main line. Uh, yep. Let me put down another piece of pipe then. And we will reduce it by a lot. Do you mind if I connect this again? Not at all. I don't think I'm trying to use it for anything right now. Did um, you need to fill any uh, any charging station items before I do? Oh, sure. I'll put my minigun in there for a hot second. <laughs> Curious. I use it quite a bit on those uh, raiders. Not a problem. Thermal compressors are at around 140 to 160. That's what they seem to be varying around. Oh no. It's actually pretty low. It was doing better earlier. Oh, it's going back um, up again. Okay, 140 to 190. 140 to 200. Yeah, and 140 to 195. There you go. Okay, I'm all set with my minigun. Okie dokie. I'm gonna pop mine in there. Let's get a little, little quick charge on there. <laughs> Cause I don't wanna. <laughs> I was expecting it to be much more. Yeah, yeah. packing. Oof. Not. It's right, let's take not that a fun thing. No, it's not. Yeah, the fire goes out pretty early sometimes. So I wonder if we should actually put the seconds down. As long as it's not like alternating too often, I think we'll be okay. I think. Put this one back here. <laughs> it's kind of weird now, but oh well. Oh, it doesn't actually reset a fire when. Um... Once oh, it's that's gone. Interesting. Well, what? so like if it if a fire is like um already there. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think it creates a fresh fire because I watched it go away within a moment. Like, uh... But the temperature is going up. Um, we're back above 200. Okay. Cool. That means more, more pressure. And we need to reconnect the oil pump because we're, we're almost out of crude. Uh... We have any insulated LV wire. There we go. I got it. There we go. And the pump is going again. All right. Just slowly getting us a little bit of oil. Boy, that went through all of that already. Hmm. Oh, our plastic is full again. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, it's been over five minutes. Still doesn't do much by itself. I have an unassembled PCB. Nice. Yay! Nice. Congrats. We just need 12 more to get started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd be pretty happy about that series. <laughs> so now you're like, okay, I don't need to worry about it. <laughs> Bit shorter on time than was getting greater than 800 temp, but it was getting close to too hot and still rising. Yours is definitely safer. <laughs> you can also pump refinery products back into in to break them down into the other stuff, like turning diesel into gasoline. Yep. Totally planned. Yep. <laughs> Works as intended. It's a feature. All right, so let's see. We need more of these. Oh, we're going to need time again. transistors. Good night, missed it. Yeah, we're going to probably be calling it soon ourselves. I just want to see how many of these things we're going to need. Oof. Each one of those requires these. Good night, missed it. My god, we need so much plastic. 
Maybe I should just make one thing at a time. Let, let, might be able to make this one thing. Hey, Zone. Yes, sir. Can you make two of those gun, the, the mini turret, or the minigun cannons? If you get the opportunity. Oh, like the, um, uh, the cannon barrel? Yes. Okay. Uh, I think so. We'll need two of those. Oh no, just one. Actually, I am I am mistaken. Just one. The recipe makes two. Oh. It's going to be three black for that. Three cyan for that. And cyan. Oop. And this. Opa, we've got a lot of stuff for that. Transistor is going to be compressed iron and redstone. Oh, we've already made those mini guns. Yeah. <laughs> they are good for. They, they look are good fantastic, for... too. <laughs> they sound awesome. Like, it's just spectacular. If only we had option access to potions. Kashka, I said it. <laughs> I said it properly. I thought you could click on the Alembic with a file and get the stuff out. Uh, there, files hold quantities of ten, no more, no less. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> fine. What, what were you calling potions before? Potions. <laughs> potions. Potions. Have you ever seen the uh, the really silly skit of the potion seller on like a YouTube video? Uh, it sounds familiar, but I don't know. Uh, it it's, must have been a really long time. Yeah. It is like it, it's ridiculous. An ancient awesome. meme that Balan is stuck on. Yeah, I I still remember uh when I, not long ago when I saw it, I was like, what in the hell did I just watch? And then like later on, I'm just like. Potion seller. Potion seller. Okay, I'm saying it way too often now. And then I just couldn't stop. And, uh, and it became very funny. And yeah. <laughs> so, that's the thing. I got it. Now Now I know the history. <laughs> the more you know. Pneumatic cylinders. All right. This is going to make me crazy. The Valon Law. <laughs> God. <laughs> Welcome back, Archimedes. All right. I, I am just uh, intending on making at least an assembly platform. I just need a capacitor. So I need it to come out with Tor. Uh, let's change it to Tor. Okay. That's my. There we go. Do you need me to make another hopper? It looks oh, like uh, one of those things needs it. Oh, this thing gives yeah, up pollution? <laughs> um, sure. No. Oh, wait a second. Never mind. I mean, the... I feel the need for it. Have at it. I need... Shoot, I need more redstone for the transistors. This doesn't look good. This doesn't look good. We're running low on on stuff gonna have to actually leave the base and go and get supplies oh my god is redstone in the nether basically uh is that where we've been getting it no we we mined some and i think we got some for well actually i don't know i think you're right maybe we did find some in the nether it's a certain ore type that i can't remember if i ever finish making this magitech tfc pack so low chances anyway. Can I convince you to give it a try? I will say a definite maybe. <laughs> it's it's terra firma craft. So I'm but like Magitech. Uh, mm, but but bringing it back because usually I would be like terra firma craft. But then bring it back is the fact that you'd be making the pack. So I I don't know. I don't know. I I would be curious to see uh, what it would be like once once you get it to that point or close to it even. Um, 
It's also you who doesn't like grain, so you want to do something about grain. <laughs> no, Fair enough. Seriously, what the fuck? You talking to serious about what? No, no, no. This. I don't know. There we go. Oh, sure. Now you show up. <laughs> Me? No, Sounds not you. <laughs> I'm confused. What did I do? I need to make multiple alembics, I think, is the answer, but... Mm, that's a good idea. But maybe that's a different... Did I manage to explode myself? Not this time, strangely. Uh, oh, no, 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 not strangely. The zone was here to supervise me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'll take credit for that. And therefore keep me away from blowing up our toys. Yep, I think we're at point or 4.9... Well, you were still chatting with uh, people and talking about something else at the time. Yep. And I'm like, we're about to blow up. <laughs> <laughs> and I think there She's was more blow. than one time as well. Oh, cool. She's okay. gone from suck to blow. <laughs> what? <laughs> Spaceballs? Hello? Spaceballs? <laughs> it's been too long. I have to turn in your nerd card. I'm sorry. I've got three capacitors. I need... He <laughs> just ignores them. <laughs> the only way I can go right now. <laughs> Transistors. Three black plastic. Uh, I need one compressed iron. Right. Yeah, I've got the water jars going on. That was like... There we go. That was the highlight of my play. <laughs> <laughs> Build putting, putting those bad boys down. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Um, I just... Um, yeah, I only have one Alembic, it. so it's like... Fill it with shit. <laughs> but essentially, that I don't want, you know. This and wait. Uh, I don't want to make multiple Redstone. No. I'm gonna whine about this. Oh, there is eleven redstone in the chest down here too. Oh, okay. Good to know. What else am I using this to make? What the heck? Okay. This transistor. Oh, compressed iron. One, two, three. Boy. <clears throat> Hi, iFix. How you doing? Boop. Uh, oh, I can't feed it in that way. I forgot. Uh, boop, boop, boop. There we go. How's pressure? Eh, pressure's not the best, but hopefully it's still enough. Did all the stuff go in? No. Stuff did not all go in. Oh, there it is. It's all going in now. It's just taking its time to get through as it drops pressure. I think that's why they mentioned the speed upgrade. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. But what do we put it in? There are so many different machines that we can put a speed upgrade in. Oh, uh, the pressure chamber. It's probably the best one. I mean, it seems like it, they could be making a lot of things with it. Mm-hmm. Okay, I have three transistors, three capacitors, two pneumatic cylinders. I still need to do this recipe. A printed circuit board. Look at that. I can do soldering. It's grand. Hooray. Awesome. <laughs> um, what are these? <gasps> I've got an assembly platform. Nice. The first baby is born. <laughs> it's got two little eyes in the middle. It's so like daddy. It's like an orange <laughs> bug. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's That's pretty cute. The in the base. <laughs> now you need the other four parts. I know, which each requires more circuit boards. Which requires unassembled PCBs. Yep. Which require empty PCBs and and etching acid and stuff. Urgh. Oh no. It's... Which I suppose I can at least get. Oh, this, we're almost out of that. Two of those. Uh, we can do what? PCB for the title here. Are you bastard? What I do this time? Uh oh, not you. 
<laughs> Listo, uh, I think they're implying you're having relations with the, uh, the builder. Well, you know. <laughs> he, is, uh, he, is, he is pretty manly. <laughs> <laughs> I've been replaced by an AI. Just like as it was foretold. <laughs> Like, well, you said you wanted a robot body. I just kind of skipped over you and went straight to the robot. Oh. <laughs> oh. Went straight to the digital. Build a family. Oh, I didn't put the hopper back in. There we go. All right. Wait, how many of these do I have? Okay. Two empty PCBs. Yay! Ooh that in here and while that's doing its thing let's look up you know we could probably just transfer the speed upgrade back and forth to the things that we need yeah that lubricant ugh. which means the thermonomatic processing plant we could that has lpg in it but how do you get the lpg back out just because right now this thing's still making it, isn't it? It is. I'm not going to lie, but this seems like not a bad place to call it. I agree. Yeah. Um, like, this is getting way too complicated. For yeah. Me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we, we've got our firstborn. It is here. This is the center table that things will be created upon. The voice is spicy to get it. <laughs> Baby assembler wouldn't be a wrong term for a fancy bed. <laughs> nice all right let's see who we can find out on the twitch for a good rate this evening uh let's see you're not wrong indeed wait does a hydrogen just stream 24 7 these days gosh oh thanks for hanging out everyone Pally time yeah doing, thank you doing a NAACP donation stream what's he streaming? oh nice shift happens I have no idea me neither it does indeed one dollar from every sub this week goes to NAACP I've got a commercial right now so I can't really tell you what it what it looks like <laughs> Okay, wow, we it's, stole all of your boarding. It's a, Woo, nailed it's a it. 2D platformer, it looks like. Okay, it's even harder. Let's go, Tim. No, Let's Tim, come back here. He is playing with Tim. He's doing a co op game with Tim. I have no idea who Tim is. Uh, it's one of his friends that uh, used to work. There at, are those who call him. I think used to work at Blizzard <laughs> a long time ago, something like that. Yeah, pretty much. That's it. I was thinking Tim the Toolman Taylor. Let's do it. Let's do a raid on Pally time. I mean, he's he's a bigger guy, a bigger guy, meaning bigger channel. Uh, but um, he's super nice and he's doing it for good cause. So, yeah, why the heck not? So I'm just going to say it because obviously the commands aren't working. If you haven't raided with us before, uh, put hashtag mischief raid, copy that to your clipboard and then we'll paste it over in Pally's chat. Uh, I'll let it go for a few seconds so that we can get past the, uh, the the commercial break that most of you are likely to get. And that's, mm -hmm. oh, I didn't even copy the name. Uh, Ellie, time, come here. And thank you guys for hanging out. And Thanks. Thank you for those of you who are joining for the raid as well. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 <laughs>